What's up, Basil Bays? It's your girl Joy back with another finger. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing well. I have a plastic baggie here. Sydney made some cookies tonight and it's kind of late and I decided to just hop on here real quickly, real quickly. What a day I've had. What a day, okay? So if this is your first time tuning in into my chaos, I haven't said that in a long time. Make sure you be aware. This is the channel where I turn my lemons into lemonade. You got to turn the negative and turn it into a positive because if you don't, you just going to be miserable all the time, sis. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe. Anyway, so today was it was a was it what? It was a rough day, but you know I made it happen. My car kind of, you know, did what it was going to do. And it was going to do what it was going to do. No matter what I was going to do, the car was going to do what it's going to do because the car has its own personality that doesn't always match my personality and what I wanted to do. So my car did what it wanted to do when it was ready to do it. I couldn't control when the car was going to do it. It just happened when it was ready to do it and when I wasn't prepared. And sometimes that's what happens with life. When you're not prepared for stuff, that's when the stuff just happens. You're not ready. You didn't see it coming. Just pew, 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 pew. Yeah. So anyway, I took the car in because you remember I told the story about my seat, okay? And I had a seat kept going forward, forward, forward. I was like, no, 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 Okay? I couldn't take it anymore. My back could not take it anymore, okay? So... It was a Saturday after the gym. I saw a little car place open. I made a U-turn, okay? I just made a U-turn. I said, mister. Of course, I start talking to the man like I've known him all my life, which is what I do. So I find out his wife is from Brooklyn. We just yapping it up. and But his name is John, by the way. Mad cool. And, uh, no, we can fix it. You know, it's nothing to spray. Just a little button, blah, blah, blah. Three hours later. So, somebody um, emailed me about the car. How was the car? So, long story short, they kept the car. I had to bum a ride from one of Bobby's little teenage friends to pick us up from the car place to take us to Walmart to get some food. So, that was my whole weekend. I planned to go out, but then I couldn't go out. I didn't really have no money to go out anyway to do what they wanted to do. So, I was like, I was kind of glad the car was broken because what they was talking about was going to cost a couple of hundred. I ain't got that. I ain't no baller like that, shoot. Well, I don't know what they, they thought I was. Uh-uh, catch me on the flip side. Catch me on tax time or something like that when I'm treating myself. I don't think so. So anyway, so I was like, that was a little blessing right there. And it's so, I ain't nobody for that. Ah! So I was stuck in the house the whole weekend. Stuck in the house. So I don't even know no, Bobby Cook. That was when Bobby Cook the Big ziti. So if you're new to this channel, I also have a food channel, which is not doing well because I'm not consistent on that channel. And YouTube is about consistency, and I'm just not consistent. Sometimes I don't have anything decent to eat. I feel like it. Sometimes I just make me some peanut butter and jelly crackers, and I lay in my bed and eat. Them. I was like, who wants to see this? But you know, if it was ASMR, those peanut butter and jelly crackers would be sounding cute. But I don't have the camera set up for AM ASMR. I don't really understand the mic stuff. So anyway, I don't have the right camera. My camera that I use is a Canon G7X and it doesn't have a mic port. So that's not going to work for me. I will have to get a whole new fancy camera thingamajig. Anyway, quite, 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 quite. So they kept the car. I had to bum a ride to work. I didn't even want to call in from work to say I didn't have a car. I didn't want to do that because I knew my students have a test the next day. So I wanted to prepare them for the test. And so I bummed the ride to work. So my girlfriend took me to work. One of my friends that I met shortly after I moved to Texas, she saw us. She was like, well, I can drive you. And so she drove me to work. Then I bummed the ride from a teacher who kind of lives in the vicinity. And she dropped me off at the um, car place. It was a button that they had to fix. It's still not. 100% so I'm calling it back tomorrow now I feel low so I drive a truck I drive a truck because I don't want to drive low so the seat doesn't raise up now the back of the you know my back part goes um, forward and backwards but the button is still kind of loose but now it doesn't raise up so I was like no I went in with one problem now it's another problem 
So I'm gonna call them tomorrow. But like, you know, the seat doesn't go up and down now. It's always something. It went up and down before I took it up in there. Now it's not going up and down. But I'd rather be low than have my chest on a steering wheel. Yeah, I'm just hitting myself. So I'd rather have my chest on the steering wheel. So that problem is, I would say is 80% fixed. He was like the button that you push to push the seat front and back. He said that kind of part, that part is broken. So I, I don't know. He said I need an, a whole nother part for that. I may have to contact Ford for that. Um, so anyway, that's the thing with the car. I am driving a car. I did get that fixed. Um, and I always uh, try to look on the bright side of things. So that was the car, but I have some good news. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I don't know, but it still sets me on my path for my goals and my dreams for the future. I got this in the mail. This would be a cute thumbnail too. But look what I got in the mail. I did open it but i did not look at it i wanted to share this experience with you guys <laughs> can you guess what's in here can you guess can you guess before i open it i bet you guys can guess i bet you can so oh yeah there's another story so i'm, I'm not gonna try to i'm not gonna hold you guys long because y'all know i am the talk master okay i will t i will be in this closet until it's time for me to go to work i, I got a problem I didn't realize I had a problem. I keep saying that. I got the talking problem. Look what I got. Isn't it awesome? So I don't know if there are any mistakes on here. I didn't open it. My first passport of the United States of America. Look at that. I'm so excited. What this means, I really don't know. I do not know what the future holds. I know the plans that I have in my head and the goals I set for myself. And with this passport, I have put the wheels in motion. I really need to write down my goals and what I want for my life. I still have not done that. I really need to do that. So this is my first time opening it. I don't want to give any information and stuff that get me in trouble. I don't know nothing about no passports, y'all. There's no numbers or anything on that. Y'all see numbers, just forget them. Let me see. Oh, my picture is not cute, y'all. I look like an alien with a knot on my head. Look, I'm examining this for the first time, y'all. Because I know. And it expires in 20, 2003. So you have a passport for 10 years. I just learned that for those of you who know, great. This is new for me, so I'm learning. When it has like a plastic little film on it. It's glossy, y'all. And these are my little pages. Visa? What's a Visa? Did I get the wrong kind of passport? Visa is when you want to work. Visas, I don't know. Travel information, health and vaccinations, health insurance, your passport. Make sure you have a signed valid. Or oh, I'm supposed to, am I supposed to sign this, y'all? Signature of bearer. Oh, I guess I'm supposed to sign it, y'all. Ah, uh, I got it. Oh, so I'm supposed to sign this, y'all, for your protection. Complete the information requested below using a pencil. Please keep these entries up to date. So I'm supposed to... Personal data and emergency contact. <clears throat> I don't even have an emergency contact person. I don't know. So I guess it would be Bobby. Yep. So I just examined it. I'll try to cut some of that out. But yeah, this is pretty awesome. So I got my passport. Bobby's pass Bobby needs to get a new passport. So we have to go through the entire process again for Bobby because they have the wrong birthday on hers. And when I inquired about it, the lady was like, you know, you had a year to make any corrections. And I was like, well, I didn't know that. So they have the wrong birthday. She said you have to. She has to get a whole new passport. 
So, fun, fun. So, Sydney's having some issues with her passport. And, um, it was, um, it's being delayed. And she's freaking out. She's been crying because we have to have the other parent because Sydney is under 16. If you're under 16, you have to have the consent of two parents or uh, you have to have a custody hearing or, you know, custody papers or the parent has relinquished their rights. You know, I called the passport office. They was like, by law, there's nothing that they could do unless they have some of those other documents. So she's trying to work with the non-applying parent. So I'm the applying parent, the non-applying parent, which would be the other parent. So that hasn't been a smooth process. So I'm hoping that oh, my hands are so dry, guys. It, it's my hands are terrible. Um, so I'm hoping that it works out for her because she has not been very happy. So I'm hoping that things could be settled within the next day or two. I'm, I'm not going to give my opinion on that, but it is what it is. You know, you know, it's the one little thing your child is asking for. I would be willing to go above and beyond knowing that I don't do anyway. I'm going to leave that alone, okay? I'm just going to leave that alone, sis. So that's the deal with her passport. I have my passport. Bobby needs to get her passport changed. And that's about it. So the car is up and running, but it's not cute. It's not what now they're saying I need a new battery. It was like batteries for those are about $200. And my New York, my New York, he's my buddy now, John from the car repair place. So you know what you do? You know, I'm going to tell you, you take that to AutoZone and they'll put your battery in for free. Go to AutoZone and get a battery. <laughs> so um, he was mad cool. I really loved him. I always, I, I've never met a stranger in my life. So. And I'm ready for school to be over because it's just amazing how some kids just really don't care about their schooling. Not all, some. You have some that just, they're just not into it. They're just not, they're not committed to, you know, to their, to that success. It, it just baffles me. And it's like, you have some teachers who try so hard and so hard to motivate the kids. You almost stand, you almost do backflips, stand on the top of your head. You do X, Y, and Z, and it's never good enough. It, it's just not good enough. And it, it gets exhausted. So I think, I think I'm burnt out. I got burnt out quickly. That's, I think that's what happened. And I have to, you know, if I decide to teach next year, I have to learn how to pace myself a little better. Because, you know, if you in a race, you just can't sprint right away. You have to learn how to pace. And I didn't pace. I think I sprinted. I think that's what I did. And the expectation, um, I think I was let back down because of what I expected, what I hoped to happen, didn't. So I think, I, f so I guess I failed myself because I expected so much more and I didn't get that. So I ex held my expectations a little too high. I think that's what I did. But it is what it is. I can only do what I can control. Just like I tell my students, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink, drink it. It is exhausting. It is downright exhausting. It's exhausting, y'all. So with that said, I want to say thank you for hanging in with with that said, I want to say thank you for hanging in there with me, loving me, taking the time to watch my videos. I know I don't do the pranks and do all that crazy stuff. I know I haven't been vlogging a lot. I'm, I'm tired. Sometimes I think about giving up on a channel, uh, giving up on a food channel. I kind of ditched the education channel again. <laughs> and then I just think about just, oh, I could just get a part-time job at Walmart. <laughs> but I know I would miss you guys. I know I would. And um, so I just, I'm trying to hang in there. And then because sometimes as a YouTuber, we feed off of you guys. You know, we feed off of you guys and you guys keep me going. But sometimes I'm like, oh, I don't know if people are too interested. <laughs> I'm just not into the pranks. And I'm not willing to, you know, somebody was like, oh, I see your views are getting lower. Somebody said that 
And I was like, yeah, for some videos, you know, if it's not drama or something going on crazy with my son or something like that. I said, but I'm still not willing to sell my soul to the devil just for a view or whatever. I still, you know, my channel's still organic, you know. I get the views one person at a time, one video at a time. It's been a slow process, but it's all been genuine. It's all been, you know, honest. You know, certain things I keep private in my private life. So, with that said, I love you. I'm going to shower and I'm going to bed. I'm tired. And the kids are testing for the next two days. They're doing um, a writing prompt. And the kids do not enjoy the writing. So I'm like, you have to, we write to rewrite. Nobody writes a perfect first draft. And if you're writing a perfect first draft, you need to be the best selling author on the planet at this point. Your essay is not perfect, but you can't give up. You got to keep writing because no one is perfect. Practice makes improvement because nobody is perfect. So I said practice makes improvement. The more you write, the more you learn the basics, you are going to get better at this, but you can't give up. And some of them get so frustrated. Oh, we got to write another essay. Yes. I looked at your previous one. We need to keep writing them for quite a while now. Okay. So hang in there, buddy. <laughs> Don't give up. Now erase all of that and let's start over. Just start with a whole new blank piece of paper. Matter of fact, just throw the other one in the trash. Throw the whole thing away. Let's just erase all our memories. We're going to start over from scratch because this is what we're going to do. Let's start from conception and we're going to start with new thoughts and everything and a whole new brand new paper because this is what we're going to do because no one writes a perfect first draft. We write to rewrite. So come on, buddy. Let's start this over again. You got this. <laughs> <laughs> that's how it is all right guys i love you know i'll stay on here forever i'm gonna save you that's what i'm gonna do i'm about to save you right now i don't want to hold up any more of your time but then again have y'all be clicking off anyway so you like you ain't holding up my time joy we clicking off your tail today we will catch the other half another day at least when i'm waiting in line at the grocery store in the doctor's office when i got time to listen to you run your mouth but right now i'm going to bed and i don't feel like it listening to you run your mouth now because you know you can run your mouth a mile a minute and next thing you know it's two three in the morning i'm still listening to you run your mouth but i do appreciate the ones that hang in there with me for the two and three hour live videos and you're hanging there i love you love you love you for that because you know i can go on and on and on and on to the rank of dawn hey Hey, you know I can. I don't know. I didn't know I could run my mouth this much. Oh my God. Let me just, Joy, turn it off. Turn it off. I'm going to turn it off in a minute. But I just wanted to let you guys know I do appreciate all of you. I love you. But let me tell you what happened at school today, right? You get some students who want to get upset with you because they fail the test. I didn't fail you. You failed the test. And then you have parents. What can my daughter do to, to raise her grade? How about pay attention the first time and hand in some of the zeros that she got in the grade book because she didn't hand in her work? How about we start with the basics? Hand in the work that was given to her the first time and maybe her grade will be raised. And I told my students, don't have your parents call me. We're having this conversation right now. You communicate with your parents because you're in a classroom with me so tell them what we discussed so your parents are not emailing me about questions about what we discussed because you didn't share the information with them i have 1890 emails that i have not read yet i can't take any more emails from we done had this conversation in class all right y'all i'm gonna let y'all go because you know I can feel my motor getting revved up and I'm going to be. Give this video a thumbs up. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I will catch you next time. But look at this awesomeness. Wait, let me take it out, y'all. Look at this awesomeness. I'm about to get my travel on. That's what's in my head anyway. But my first stop, I think, is going to be. Yes, I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, guys. Until next time. Later.